Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I look tired. Uh, I have just put on some uh, deep brow in my brows and I also done some NYX um, concealer as a lid primer because today I want to do my eyes before I do my base. And I thought that we could do a palette bingo with a palette that I, I, I have only used once or twice and that is the Linda Hallberg Spectral Eye Shadow Palette. It looks like it comes with a mirror and then it looks like this. So I've asked uh, the random number generator for four shades and I got this unknown uh, faint, the green one, uh, illusion and uh, abstract so yeah three shimmers and one matte so if you want to see this then just please keep on watching uh, and one of the reasons I look so tired is because I can't sleep during the night uh, my I don't know what it's called in English it's, it's in Swedish it is full blossoming but I will translate Okay, so I googled it's supposed to be like loose pelvis. Anyway, it hurts like hell during the night. Yes, let's get started. So I'm going to start out with the unknown shade, which is that pink. And I'm basically going to put that in my crease. With a fluffy brush from Morphe. This is the M5, no. M452 This palette has a little bit of kick up which I don't mind because you can see the actual pigment Sorry my phone is buzzing I haven't used this palette that much, as I said. I don't know why, I just don't gravitate gravitate to towards it. But it's it's a pretty palette. Are you too zoomed in? Let's try it this way. Easy to build up, easy to blend, and uh, it has good pigment. Okay, that was my only matte shadow, so now I have the green, the blue, and the silver one left. I think I'm going to take uh, Abstract, which is that one, uh, and put it on my inner part of my lid and first I'm not going to spray it but I might end up spraying this we'll see how it looks well, it looks pretty good I remember this being one of my favorite shades in the palette because it's so pretty it's like it's not like full coverage I guess you can use this as a topper I know I have worn it as an inner corner highlight and I'm going to try to add some more with my finger to kind of get a more some more payoff Sorry if you can hear something in the background. My fan just started to sound, make a sound. Like that. And I'm just going to clean off that flat brush. And then I'm going to take the shade Illusion. 
which is the silvery one, that one. And I'm going to take that on the rest of my lid, basically. I don't know if you need... This is more of a pressed glitter. I might need to spray my brush. I think this is like the second time I'm doing a palette bingo here. Um, I'm going to use my finger instead. Uh, the first time was the Paulina collaboration with all of the other amazing people. Uh, <clears throat> but I think it's a fun way to step out of your comfort zone. I mean, this I wouldn't wear this. <laughs> this is not a look I would go for. <laughs> Otherwise, if that makes sense. Um, I should have used a glitter primer with this, or maybe a spray. Because right now it looks a bit funny. We're just taking some more of that abstract shade. And blended that into the silver. Then we have faint left, which is the green shimmer, and I'm actually going to take that under my eyes. I just need to clean up the fallout, and then I'm going to do my base. And it's been a while since I've done my base here on my channel, so I'm actually going to film it, but fast forward it for you to see. I mean, it's not that interesting, but maybe you want to see it. I'm glad that I did my eyes first, because this... I have some fallout, some glitter. There we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do my base, and I will fast forward that, and then we can do the under eyes together, and then maybe... Do something about the lids as well. I'll be right back.
That's my face done. Uh, I'm going to spray my face, but I thought that we could do that when we are done with the eyes. Um, so I'm going to take the color faint, which was the green one, and I'm just going to put it uh, <coughs> under my eyes for now. With a denser brush than that, please. Uh, I'm going to take the blue abstract shade, that one, and meet up with the green and put that in my inner corners. Like that. And then I'm going to take um, <coughs> abstract on my on a dense brush again if I can find someone that is clean no. and spray the brush because I think it didn't show up the way I wanted it to so I'm just taking my Revolution Hyaluronic fix and just spraying the brush much better I'm going to spray the illusion shade as well the silvery glittery one My battery cut me off, but I uh, applied the silver one with spray as well. Um, now I'm just going to take some more of that pink shade, the one we used in the beginning, the unknown. And on a fluffy brush and just... Add some more, basically. As I said, this is not maybe not a look that I will <laughs> go out with, but I think it looks pretty cool. 
Yeah, so if you can hear the drilling noises, I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's from the outside. Um, yeah, I, I want to intensify that green. Uh, I'm taking that green again, again, and I'm going to spray the brush. Something like that. Then I'm actually going to spray my face really quickly and then we can add mascara and lips. And uh, right now I'm using the Hard Candy Longwear Sheer Envy, Envy Setting Spray that I think I bought this year or last year when I was in the US. I think the look turned out pretty cool. Um, it's good that I get use of some of my palettes and it's fun to step out of my comfort zone. I'm just going to add mascara. I'm adding the Maybelline Snapscara. There we go. Um, it looks like I have too much bronzer on, which I'm not sure I have, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh no, we can use this. This is the Dose of Colors uh, Liquid li Lipstick in Rosebud. I think it's a nude. Mm, I accidentally overlined a bit. But here we have the finished look with the Linda Halberg Spectral Palette. Um, as I said, I, I, I did a palette bingo and this is the result. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please give me suggestions on what palette I should do a palette bingo on. I have some palettes from Profusion. I have Morphe. I have uh, Juvia's Place. And I have Blush Tribe. But anyway, thanks again for watching. And until I make another one, you guys, please take care. Bye.